Okay, so, so far I have boiled four pieces of codfish. I've shredded some, or sliced some onions, and I have sliced um, four medium-sized potatoes, and there are the red potatoes, and I left the peel on because I prefer the potatoes with the peel on, and it's, uh, it's less work that way. So what I'm going to do with the codfish now that it is 50% um, boiled is um, drain the water and shred all the the fish and take out all like the little bones and stuff. What I do is um, I have a tablespoon of olive oil here and a handful of um, parsley and also four cloves of garlic. And I'm just going to blend this up. Alright, so I'm starting to saute the onions with the um, parsley and garlic mixture. And while that is cooking, I already have the fryer on and I'll be starting on this. I let it cool in the fridge for about five minutes so it's not uh, that hot to touch. And I'll be taking the skin off and all the little bones and shredding it pretty finely, just like, just like that. To little pieces. All right, now that the onions are almost done, I will be adding all of the codfish in there. So the codfish is 50% um, cooked, and um, I don't really want this to actually cook in this pan. Um, maybe just a little bit more. But it's mostly just to get the onion flavor, the parsley flavor all blended in. And uh, what this also does is um, mix the codfish a little finer as well. Okay, so now that the fries are done, I just uh, seasoned them with a little salt. And that's pretty much all the salt you'll need for this dish because the codfish is um, salty as it is. So just let that... Uh, Kind of get more crispy. I think it's good. Alright, so then I'll be adding everything to this dish. Uh, I'll be adding the codfish itself. And um, I'm not sure how much I'll need of the evaporated milk yet. Um, I'll let you know if I use the whole... Um, how much is this? 370 milliliters. Um, put about a teaspoon of ground pepper and a teaspoon of paprika and uh, this again as you'll see that this is um, very popular in Portuguese culture um, so I'll be using probably two to three tablespoons of this um, and if you don't have that I guess you could substitute with um, I don't know ground up red pepper or even tomato paste um, something like that um, but like I said, this is very inexpensive. I mean, two ninety nine for this huge thing, um, and it doesn't matter what brand it is; it all is the same. So yeah, um, everything is going in here, and then I'll show you the next step. My oven is preheated at four hundred, and the very last step, after everything is mixed, and I did use the whole can of uh, condensed milk because uh, it will just give it more uh, creamy texture. If you want a little more on the dry side, just use half. Um, so the last step is the three eggs to kind of bind it all together. So I'll break those, mix it in here, and then dump it in here. Alright, so that's it there. And now it will be going in the oven. Um, so if you like it a little more well done, put it in for probably 20 minutes. Uh, but after 15 minutes, I'm going to check on it to see because um, this is this is a bit bigger than I usually do. Uh, so I'll see how long it has to be cooked for. Wow, this is heavy. Okay, so there it goes. So 15 minutes, and I'll show you how it looks. 
So it's been cooking for about 15 minutes and I'm going to be just putting it on broil now just to kind of um, uh, toast the top. So this is it and it's been broiled for just a few minutes just to kind of get a little crispy top and uh, show you the inside. So it's still very creamy and if you, like I said, don't want it as creamy, just use half of the uh, evaporated milk and that's it there. It is super, super yummy. So yeah, uh, let me know if you guys try it. And thanks for watching. Bye.